let's obtain now uh, giving a set of equations like this we were looking at an example that we have a simple example in here of a circuit and then we have this uh, bond graph model in here and the bond graph model has produced the uh, equations like this and so now um, my objective is given these equations how do I produce the block diagrams so what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the uh, erase a few things in here so that I erase and then we'll erase all this so that I I just use the equations in here to uh, produce the block diagram okay well the first thing I before we are doing this can you tell me or can we think of how we go about uh, starting this if you have a set of equations how do you go about the starting the block diagram do you remember no I I I would say why don't we uh, start with the summation point first remember that was one of the things that I, I told you about um, so let let's let's go over here and start with this yeah what I would do is to say okay look this is the summation point what's the result of this the result of this is d p sub uh, 4 p sub 4 dt yeah and in here it has an AC1 which is we could put it like this is is E1 and that is in there so I'm representing the summation point this one's in here I'm gonna say this one is minus R sub 2 over I sub 4 and P sub 4 right and the other term that you have in here is minus 1 over C sub 3 Q sub 3 my point is I reduce this entire summation this equation to this picture right so now what I'm going to do is I'll change colors so that you can see what we're doing here I'll do one integration which is expressed in simulink like this and then this of course I can put it to a scope so I can see it here this one here is dp sub 4 no sorry this already integrated is p sub 4 So let's just write it down. This is P sub 4. But you see, uh, this is almost like when you see this is multiplied by P sub 4, it's almost like playing the right note as if in, in music. See? P sub 4, it follows that if we multiply this by R sub 2 over I sub 4 then this term is fulfilled and this is a minus sign over here this one is sort of hanging in there yeah we cannot do any any more of this because it's just there but look here this is the the other equation that we need to to, to do so what we need to do is the q sub 3 dt equals so what we need to do is let's free some more space over here yeah some more space to do my block diagram in here very good so in here we have this is a uh, uh, i will just go in here again and uh, what is the output of this it was d q so 3 dt right let's just keep looking at this see this is a that one right there is and the input was i4 p sub 4 and this in here is in here is 
um, what, did, what did that? 1 over i sub 4, p sub 4, right? Yeah? So you see, how can we put together this puzzle here? See right here, this guy requires p sub 4. But p sub 4 is over here, so I would just bring it in down here, see? And then I'll just say 1 over i sub 4. But one thing I should have done it earlier, and uh, step before, should be to integrate this and obtain it with another scope like this. So this one is q sub 3. So we got this one done. But do you see, like, it's almost like a note is missing. Like, the music is an interesting comparison. I'm doing like a little parabola here. This q sub 3, see, it requires that we multiply this 1 over c sub 3. And we picked it up from here. And we're done. This is your simulink model. This would be your simulink, simulink block diagram. This is how you uh, you can go from from the equations to the block diagram. And these are the steps that you need to do. Uh, this is the step that, in reality, was the only one missing. Everything else we had done before but he just needed to do a little review okay so let me just close this and then I'll we can we can keep talking about this <coughs>